Welcome to the Panther Insider. Matt Mendel alongside the fourth-year women's soccer head coach, Troy Fabiano. And, Coach, always the excitement of, of opening night, a brand-new season upon us. What are some of the feelings and thoughts going through your mind as you enter year number four? I think you're always excited, especially home openers. So just the opportunity to compete against somebody else and see what we've done for the last couple of weeks to prepare for this. Uh, obviously, day one, meaning game one, uh, we want to see where we're at. That's the biggest thing. And still continue to evaluate and, and things that we need to work on and obviously finding the right mix of kids with so many new freshmen on the roster. So after a couple of exhibition games, if somebody were to ask you, what are the team's strengths? What concerns do you have? How would you answer? I would say depth. Uh, I think, you know, having so many young kids, it's provided a lot of competition at practice. Uh, and, and that's a good thing because now our, our training is at a high level. So when we step on the field, we're used to it. So I'd say that's one of our strengths and maybe the same thing in the same sense is maybe one of our weaknesses. Uh, you have some kids that maybe don't understand it, but I think uh, with our upperclassmen, they get what we're looking to accomplish and, and training has been very good. You talk about newcomers and 17 of the 32 on the roster are newcomers. How have they fit in so far? Very well. I think chemistry is at a good high. Uh, you know, you have a couple transfers that come in, so they've, they've experienced college soccer. And then in the freshman, you know, we had five graduate early. So that was a big help for them. So I think, you know, the transition has been pretty easy for some of them. Uh, but then again, once you go live today, we see how exactly how it carries over. And with only four starters back, I have to believe competition, especially in the spring here in training camp, has been an all-time high as, as players, again, jockey for positioning. Yeah, it's always, doesn't matter returning or not. We always tell people, you know, what you did last year, it just doesn't matter, we move on. And you have to earn your spot, no matter if you're a freshman, senior, scholarship kid, or a walk-on. Uh, so we expect our kids to come in every day and compete for those spots. So who are some of the, the newcomers that maybe have caught your eye early on? I think Chandler, obviously a transfer from Virginia Tech. Uh, Haley Johnson, who plays up top, yelling at server, have been kids that have played a lot. Uh, even uh, Lamaki, who's played in goal for us, has played a lot, but they've also were here in the spring. So that, I think that helps with the transition. I think that also gives them a step ahead of the other freshmen that just have been only here for two weeks. We talk about newcomers. How about some of the experienced players back? Your expectations for players like Lourdes Anwimeka, Kelly Swenson, Michaela Schmelzer. They're our leaders. We have to lead by them. And, and, and as they go, as we go, uh, I think, you know, what the benefit of that is each of them play in a separate line, meaning Kelly plays in the back, Michaela plays in the midfield, and Lolo plays up top. But they're our leaders, and they have to set the tone early for us. And they're the ones that we rely on that set the training environment and, and game environments. And finally, I guess the expectations you have for this team, I know you've set the bar high these last now three seasons. The players have set the bar high. So your expectations, knowing that you know you have a target on your back and will throughout the course of this season. I think you embrace that. I mean, that, that's the big thing. You embrace it. You can't hide from it. Uh, but our expectations remain the same. You know, the roster maybe changes a little bit, but we, but we look to reload. But expectations are high. We want to win games, and we want to compete for Horizon League championships and get the NCAA tournament. Coach, as always, thanks a lot for your time. Thank you. That's the head coach of the Milwaukee Panthers, Troy Fabiano.